In this video, we will cover mounting an SA rotary actuator to a rotary gate or valve. Your actuator was likely received with the A drive and thrust assembly attached to the actuator. This is easier to install if it is removed. This is held onto the actuator with four bolts. Simply remove them and the A drive assembly will come off. The brass nut on the A drive must be machined to match your threaded stem. Simply thread this on to your gate or valve. Threading this on with the actuator removed is much easier than threading a whole actuator onto your stem. It also allows you to check to make sure your machining is correct. Once it is in place, you use proper hardware and mount the A drive to your valve. Well, I'll tighten these bolts to the proper torque. And you cross pattern style. Already installed in your actuator is a coupling with machined grooves that will engage with the dogs in the A drive. Just like this. Take your actuator and align the grooves and the coupling with the dogs in the gate. Secure the actuator and a drive using the provided bolts. Tighten the bolts to the specified torque in the same cross pattern. The actuator is now installed and ready for the setting of limit switches. Prior to operation, be sure to follow operating manual's recommendations for greasing of the A-Drive.